Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Bastion's Minecraft Adventure. And today I think we're going to do a little bit of technical stuff. And I just gotta sleep real quick. <laughs> when I record the video. Or it's still daytime, I can't really sleep right now, can I? No. And today we're gonna do some technical stuff. I've kinda figured we'll need some food. Like a lot of like a good source of food and a good source of XP so to kill two birds with one stone here I am going to be making an automatic fish farm I uh, saw some designs on online and stuff and I thought oh that's pretty interesting I'll give it a try and we'll see about that I'm just trying to wait until sleep because it is almost almost sundown here hello but the shaders pack I'm using, or the shaders mod I'm using now, is called Kuda Shaders. So I'm gonna try out a different, different shader and see what is the best. I like this one pretty good. It's pretty simple. You know, it's really nice and clean and sleek in design. I just want to sleep. <laughs> I can't tell if the sun is like going down or something. Can I sleep, please? Please, can I sleep? Whoa, you saw that? That was weird. Huh, I guess there's one thing about this uh, shaders mod is that if you look at it in different angles, <laughs> it acts like the beds or leaves or foliage or something. Because you can see like it moves it around. Like the wind is blowing it. And if you look at it at a certain angle. So that's one bug about the shaders mod, but that's not too bad. I still can't sleep at night, so apparently the shaders mod is pretty dark. There we go. <laughs> Waiting forever to sleep in bed. But today we're going to be making a fishy fish farm, and that will be cool. So let's go down into my storage area. Uh, I will refine this up a little bit better, but for now we just have a bunch of chests in here. There's a bunch of stuff in there, so I want to get some of this. Yes. Maybe some of that. And we'll get some of that. Maybe some of that. And then we will have... Whoa! <laughs> the chests are moving like they're leaves. So there's an issue regarding that. So... Put that there. The blows the chests in the wind, apparently. But... So, this one is very buggy. I see. Kuda shaders is a bit buggy, but that's okay. We'll try it out anyway. Um, let's get a few of these. Oh, what else do we need? What else? What else? What else? I think that's good for now. I think we'll be fine. So, these are the supplies we'll be needing. It's a. It's not my design, but I did see it online a lot. So, it's a pretty general. General design. So. We're going to go and put it right over here. It's a pretty cool looking farm. All right, let's put half of it. <laughs> so we're going to make a farm right here. So Let's extend these out a couple blocks. There we go. And then we're going to go that far. That should work out. And then we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, it should be a seven by seven platform. Which that will be good enough to get us going here. It's a cool, it's a cool little fish farm. I think it gives you XP. I could be wrong. I could com be completely wrong. But anyway, it'd be nice to have an automatic fish farm. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. As we build up this platform here, that'd be nice. There we go. And we'll need some stone. Stone here. Oh, we'll need a bucket of water. That's what I was missing. Bucket of water, obviously. So let's grab that real quick. I know where I, I have a bucket of water in here somewhere. Ah, bam, there's a bucket of water. All right. So we'll also be needing a crafting table, so we'll just make a quick one up. 
and place it down over here. So this Kuna Shaders is real nice, actually. It's very, I don't know, it's very, it's pretty nice, but, oh, the heck, go right there. But it's a bit dark and it's kind of buggy, so this is not, may or may not have been the favorite, may or may not be the favorable one. What am I doing? Oh, I'm making <laughs> a hopper, so we'll need this and we'll need this. There we go. Hopper. And then we'll need. Let's see. Let's make these up here. And put that there. We'll make a chest. And then we'll do this out of stone bricks. Okay. So the design I saw was it had a chest at the bottom right here. Yeah. And then it had the hopper, kind of like this, I believe. And then it had this, and it had the stair looking thing behind it to, you know, so you can keep it open. Like that, I believe. <laughs> I could be wrong. But there's that so far. And what they want you to do, if they see we'll do it out of stone brick I guess is that they go like this right so you can put the water in here so this will be a slab I'm basically doing this off of memory out of like I never really saw any tutorials on it or anything like that I'm just kind of doing this what they also do is oh apparently my thing broke so there what they want to do is kind of like this and like this it could be very very wrong up like this yeah okay that should be right <laughs> i'm basically almost winging this oh what the this shade is... Is it opening the chest? What is it doing? I don't... <laughs> this shader's about is very buggy. Alright. Now, what we'll also need is... Let's see, a couple of these. And we're gonna need an iron trap door here. Oh, we need a stick. <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking what we're supposed to need. We need a stick. But blam. And then one of those, and then one of these. There we go, tripwire hook. These are supposed to go along right here, and the string for it is supposed to go along like that. So basically, it activates that, and there's going to be some redstone involved. Ooh, redstone. I think this platform may need to be bigger, because I don't, might not be able to fit the redstone there. Okay, so what we have here now... Is that activated? So, what it does now is that we have a <laughs> iron trap door. How do we make an iron trap door? Uh, iron, see, iron trap door. Ah, just that. Okay. And then that there. That's a very uh, good mod, or not mod, but good feature there. So we go basically like that, and then I believe so. Let's just put the water in now, so we can get an idea. The water goes in like that. This activates. Put some stone up like this, and we'll put some redstone up. But right now we need to make a couple com a couple repeaters. We need more than that. We need two repeaters. There we go. Um, stone. Like stone. Ah, there we go. Two repeaters. So basically like this 
and where's the other repeater? The heck? Did I make the other repeater? I could have sworn I did. Okay, that's interesting. Make the other repeater. Apparently, because it didn't work the first time. And then we'll place it right here. And some redstone along here. Oh, we need, yeah, see, we need to extend it a little bit more. Uh, that's okay, though. We'll just do this. <laughs> extend it out a little bit better. There we go. So it should open that. Let's see. I don't know if I'm doing it quite right. It should be like that. I need a fishing pole. Just to test it out. Let's see, boom. Fishing rod. Now, if I go like this. Oh, I know what's wrong with it. Okay. I know what's wrong. We need to get it so this thing opens up a different way. Um, let's see if this is there. Soon we'll get one with like mending and stuff on that. So once we open that, it'll open sideways, hopefully. Yeah, and then we'll have that. Okay. All right. So that looks good. We'll just do that. There we go. And then we will have, I've seen people use uh, iron doors and I've also seen people use uh, these right here. Not these, these help blocks. Put it right here. So, basically, what happens is, do like this. Kind of have to see. So yeah, it's just <laughs> you basically hear a drum the whole time, or you can like change it to different blocks and stuff. But I think that's how it works. And so it just sits in the water until you catch something. I hope you catch something. Yeah, see, there you go. And then you get XP from it. It's a completely, um, it's like an AFK fish form kind of thing, which is very, it's going to be useful. So basically what that hopper is used for, you can come back here. There's your fish right there. Let's collect, let's put some torches down. And bam, look at that. It's an automatic fishing farm. It's a very bare bones right now. But soon we'll be able to make it so it's not bare bones and we can just go in here and fish up a storm, collect some fish and XP, just go, you know, go away from it. You have to like wait, basically I have to put like some something weighted on your right mouse button. So like if you can, if you're able to do that, that's the best way to do it. There's other ways you can do it in without having to do that. And, and there's also a bunch of easier ways. It has a very high hitbox for those, though. So basically, you just sit here boop, until you catch fish and get to hear a nice drum. You can basically change it to anything, but I just did stone to make it, and you can just have it be a normal <laughs> thing or something like that. But I don't know what's that. I don't know why it takes so long. Basically, you just sit here like this. But, oh look, there's, <laughs> there's the fish. It's just, it's pretty cool. It's an interesting design here. Should have two fishes in here. There we go. I don't know why I didn't put it in there. All right, but yeah, here's that. We're gonna extend the platform of it a little bit more two blocks oops we're gonna make a little fishing hut building soon so let's just do this for right now so we get a good idea of what we can do for the building oops whoops there we go 
Um, let's just extend it on this side as well, just so it doesn't look like completely lopsided. There we go. Boom, there's a fishing house. Or it's going to soon be our fishing hut. Could have pushed it back a little bit further, but that's okay. Here's good. I wonder if you need like a... If a step stool would be easier. No, not really. It's pretty cool. Let's just do that. Put this fishing rod in here. Definitely, uh, these fishing rods aren't the strongest things out there. Which, what people usually like to get is something called mending. Then you're gonna get a fishing rod or a book that has mending on it. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll toy around with that. We have the enchantment table up there. I am back to 27 levels of xp so just went, did some mining and did some a little bit of mob killing here and there and, that, and that's how i brought it back up so and it was didn't take it didn't take too long to do it after a little bit of mining it's bam you're done got a storage room we could do so there's gonna be a lot to do for right now but so we're in a good we're in a good situation now with this here you can look out uh let's see <laughs> look out here whoa yeah this is a cool view <laughs> bye um it's beautiful it's beautiful but yeah the shaders uh, I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of it it's definitely very glitchy I have to say but I mean it's you know it's shaders you can't be perfect and stuff and I shouldn't really be talking I never really did anything with shaders or modding for Minecraft, however, because I can do that, and those people that can, I mean, kudos to them, like, they're pretty good, but for me, ah, I'm just like, yeah, you do it, you do your own thing, man, oh, we're gonna fix this tree, damn, like, it didn't even happen, oh, there's that as well, that creepy blew up a lot, and I've noticed another thing, all my villagers are gone <laughs> in this village, I don't know where they went, I have no clue where they went, but let's see. There we go. Bam, a oh, bam, a bull. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's do that. There we go. Let's put a fence down. All my villagers are gone. I don't know where that what happened to them, but they are definitely not here. Let's take a row of this. There we go. But. Yeah, I've looked all over town. There is no more. Not a single one. They killed killed by zombies and I was building the th building the beach tower. I think that's what might have happened cuz I can't I sucks. I don't have any more villagers. Oh. Well, whatever. Well, I hope you liked this episode. It's kind of a, this is an all over episode, but I did build the automatic or the afk fish farm which i'm going to be taking advantage of to get some some supplies and stuff like that some xp and fish <laughs> to eat but it's really cool i like it good design i don't think we'll need this we'll we'll have to see about and we'll probably have to extend this out one like right here Yeah, like that. And I just have to build around here so you can walk around and stuff like that inside. So we'll do something like, we'll do something cool with that. All right, guys. It's kind of a short episode. No, it's not that short, but I've kind of been rambling on. I hope you guys enjoyed it, though. And I will see you in the next one where we're going to build this fish hut. Can't wait.